On the other side of this bridge is Transnistria, an unrecognized separatist state that has been de facto independent since a conflict in 1992. Since then, this territory has had a Russian army presence and the politics of the region have been pro-Kremlin. Now, several violent acts in Transnistria are raising fears that against the backdrop of the war in Ukraine, Russia will have an excuse to intervene in this territory or in Moldova itself. Georgi Popa fought against the Russians in the 1992 war, when Moldova was a newborn country that could barely defend itself. They conquered Tiraspol and tried to conquer all of Moldova. We were barely able to fight. We had no army. We could only defend ourselves. We were able to stop them, and we even liberated some territories. Now, with Russia advancing in Ukraine and ever closer to Moldova, fears that Moscow wants to extend its military dominance to the far reaches of its former empire are no longer political fiction, say observers. There would be two options to have a regime change here more like kind of Belarusization, Belarusization of, of, of Moldova, yes, becoming a kind of <clears throat> ally of, of Russia, or even inclusion in, the, in the, this big project of Novorossiya. Analysts say Russia has a vested interest in controlling Moldova within its sphere of influence. Everyone knows that Russia is interested in Moldova. It is not something new. Even though militarily we are a neutral country, as our constitution says, Russian political influence has always been noticeable in elections, where Moscow has made it clear who are their favorites. While Moldova's official language is Romanian, the Russian language is spoken by a large part of the population, yet Romanian culture coexists with the country's Russian identity. Theaters like the Mihai Amanesco try to keep the Romanian culture and language alive in the face of Russian cultural dominance. The fear now is that, as has happened in eastern Ukraine, Moscow will cite a need to defend the Russian-speaking population as an excuse to attack Moldova. It seems to me that it is I who should be responsible for my identity, but not my neighbor. It is not my neighbor who should tell me who I am. Life goes on in Moldova, despite the war in neighboring Ukraine and the internal threat posed by Russian troops in Transnistria. But the Russian invasion of Ukraine on February 24th is raising questions of how much longer the status quo might hold. For Ricardo Marquina in Chisinau, Elizabeth Chernev, BOA News.